everybody welcome back to my channel this is Mary Ellen from planning with Bumble and I'm back with another plan with me video for the week of July 30th to August 5th this Friday is National Watermelon Day so I decided to do a watermelon themed spread I thought I'd pull out my washi this week so the first thing I'm doing is putting this red doodlebug design scallop washi on the top and then I'm coming in on the bottom with this happy planner skinny polka dot washi. I like using an X-Acto knife rather than scissors when I lay washi down to give the edge a perfect line. Okay, next I'm taking out my food sticker book and I'm laying down these little pieces of watermelon all across the page in a row. I'm kind of disappointed that they're not even on that side, but I'll get over it. Now I'm pulling out the Colorful Boxes sticker book, which I like to use in almost every spread. I thought I'd alternate black and red stickers up the top where I'll put my appointments for the week. I have a lot going on next week, so I definitely can use a box sticker for every day. This sticker says to buy at the top, and I probably won't use it for a list of things to buy, but I'll come back in during the week sometime and cover that up with another sticker. I couldn't find another red box sticker that was the same size for Saturday, so I decided to move this sticker over to Saturday so that it gives it more balance because I'm gonna put another red sticker that's a little bit different in the middle. I found this sticker that matches with the same color, but it's too long. So I'm cutting it down to match the other one. And then what I can do now is cut the bottom of it and then place that right on top so that it looks like a new size box sticker. I decided to keep going and place some more of that red scallop washi right below. And then I'll add some of that polka dot washi on the bottom to kind of balance everything out and give the bottom of the page a more finished look. I always need a place to write my daily to-do lists, so I decided to use these red checkbox stickers, and I thought it would be interesting if I put some coming up from the bottom and some coming down from the top. And you can see I messed that one up there. So I'm going to replace it because those ones are actually easy to rip. Okay, so I was going to leave this spread just red and black but once I looked at it, I thought it was a little harsh looking, so I decided to add some green in the middle. And I took out this washi book from the Happy Planner, which I love the washi book so much. And um, I decided to cut down this Hooray for Weekend washi because there was some blue on the top. And so I'm trimming that down and putting it on the weekend. When I cut that washi, it got kind of raggedy on the top, so I decided to put some more of the black polka dot washi on the top to kind of cover up my mistake, and I really like the way that it turned out. I'm pulling out my colorful boxes sticker book again and placing one of these black long box stickers on the side. And now I pulled out the productivity book, and I thought it would look cool if I put a couple of circle stickers up here on the left hand side and that's from the rainbow book so like I said this week I'm really busy so the hustle and the do all the things stickers made sense now I'm in the mini planner basics book putting these little quote stickers on each day and I like to kind of have it symmetrical sometimes I just thought that would add a little interest on the bottom I 
flipped through a lot of sticker books off camera trying to find the perfect green quote stickers and there isn't that many but I did find this one. I thought I could cut it into three pieces and put one on Monday, one on Wednesday, and one on Friday. And a couple of little pieces from my scissors got caught on the back, so that's why I'm having some difficulty there. I really think that looks cute in the middle. And I was worried a little bit about having the red and the green that would be too Christmassy, but once you add in the, the watermelon stickers, it really doesn't look like it. I always add a gratitude list to one day of the week, so I'm putting this grateful sticker on Sunday and I'll write my list there. Next, I'm pulling out the food book again and I'm adding some watermelon stickers on the bottom corner to finish it off. So when I was filming, I forgot to put the date stickers on the top, but I did that later on off camera. And that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check me out on Instagram. I'm on there as Planning with Bumble. Have a great day.